Welcome back. We're here on the extra point, and topic two of the night comes from the NFL. So sitting at seven and five, can we take the Dolphins and the Buccaneers seriously? Well, personally, at this point in the season, I'm surprised any of these two teams are in the contention. Um, the case for the Miami and Tampa Bay is a really, it's a heads tail scenario right now. Personally, I think the Buccaneers are the better of the two right now because when you look at their division, New Orleans and Carolina, they're done. They're not going anywhere. Atlanta, Atlanta's just barely holding on to their division lead right now, and that could honestly crumble within the last four weeks of this season. So I think Tampa Bay's our better option. As for Miami, I'll give them this. Good job with what they've done so far because I really didn't think they'd even be in posting contention, let alone have more than like five wins this year. But I just don't think they have it in them to make it. I mean, they got to compete with Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, Tennessee. Those are all teams that could very much be in playoff contention come the end of the season. I just got to go with Tampa Bay on this one. I think it's interesting. I think before the season started, out of the three Florida teams, I don't think anybody would have picked uh, Miami and Tampa Bay to have the better record than Jacksonville, who was a really hot pick coming into the season. And they've fallen apart mostly because of their quarterback play and a couple injuries. But um, I really like Jameis Winston. I've been a, a Jameis Winston fan um, of his on-the-field performance for he's since really college. Good. And, uh, you know, the guy's a winner. He's a tough leader. And um, they have, you know, a good veteran secondary. And, and I do like Tampa Bay. I don't think this is their year. I would buy stock in Tampa Bay for, for the years to come, especially in Jameis Winston. Um, Miami pulled off a pretty uh, interesting win streak that nobody really paid attention to. They won five straight games, um, mostly off the strength of Jay Ajayi. Six, um, actually. Well, it was six. So, so Jay Ajayi, two straight 200-yard games. He's still looking to kind of get back into that, you know, dominant role he was in before. Um, but he seems like a pretty good running back. And, and – you know, the loss of Arian Foster kind of made it his offense. I'm not a believer in Ryan Tannehill. Um, Jarvis Landry's had a nice year, but you're kind of still waiting for him to get onto that, you know, upper echelon of, of elite receivers. You know, he was Odo Beckham's college teammate. He likes to compare himself to him a lot, but you haven't seen that kind of game-breaking ability from Jarvis Landry yet. He's been more of a possession guy, slot guy. Um, Miami's defense, pretty bend, don't break. I'm a pretty big Cameron Wake fan. I don't think either team's going to go very far in the playoffs. Miami's at a disadvantage being in the AFC East and having, you know, New England there. So it's going to be tough for them to win the division, you know, anytime Tom Brady's healthy. Um, but I, I kind of agree with you. I, I think Tampa is the better team, um, and, and I think they're definitely the better team going forward as well. I'll give them this, though. James Winston's definitely came, come into his own this year. I thought he was going to have, like, a sophomore slump kind of year, but he really turned it around. And Marcus Mariota, too, for that matter. Both done an incredible job leading their teams. But like you said, Jay Ajay has really come into his own this year as well. I, would, I didn't even know who this guy was before the season, to be honest. Yeah, t talented guy who had some issues before the season with Coach Adam Gase in terms of showing up to some meetings late. He actually didn't travel with the team for week one. Um, but then Mike Evans in Tampa Bay, too, probably a top five receiver in the league right now. And Jameis Winston oh, yeah. has been very open about his, his love for Mike Evans and throwing him the ball, especially in the red zone. So he's had a great season. And, and it's, it's been exciting to see some competitive football in Florida because, you know, you haven't seen a lot of success there since Tampa Bay was, was in the Super Bowl uh, about 12 years ago, maybe yeah. more than that. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time for Miami since they've had a playoff appearance. So, you know, new coaches there. And, and it's, it's uh, future's bright for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Very nice point, guys. I like it. I like it. This was a very nice civil conversation. I enjoyed it a lot. I really Super did. Bowl prediction too? No, 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 no. We're not going to get into that yet. We'll hold off. We'll hold off. So we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to dive into college basketball. Stay tuned.